All right, everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. My name is Nagai, your Guilty Gear OG son, and today I want to talk about how I went to a Guilty Gear pop up bar in Japan. Basically, going over how it was and was it worth it? Okay, so I am a little biased here. If you guys know me, you know that I've been a fan of the game series for a very long time. And over the years, I've competed in several Guilty Gear XX, Xrd, and Strive tournaments basically all around the world. So I spent a lot of time and money on the game. Now, obviously, I was pretty excited to know that there was going to be a Guilty Gear pop up bar, which was conveniently happening at the same time I was visiting Tokyo. Now, if you're expecting an objective view on this particular establishment, I'm afraid this is not the video for that. I'm just a dude who really likes Guilty Gear. You might be thinking, hey, there's no cola bar happening right now, and you know what? You'd be right. This actually happened last year, and I intended to make a video, but never really had the chance to. This does seem to be an event that happens every year, so there's a good chance we'll see another pop up bar happen, especially since Dizzy's about to roll out. Okay, with that said, let's just safe jump right into it. The idea was to avoid big lines or crowds, so we got there on the second day it opened. The place itself was kind of challenging to find. We had to circle around the area a few times before we found the elevator that led us up to the pop-up bar venue. We got there about 10 minutes before they opened for lunch, and to my surprise, there were no lines or crowds. Maybe I overestimated how popular Guilty Gear was, or maybe we just got really lucky with their timing. Either way, with less people, it made it really easy to take photos and stuff without feeling too awkward. Once they were open, we were greeted by the server who was cosplaying Kai. She didn't speak much English, but my Nihongo was Jozu enough to get us a table for three. The venue itself was just the right size. There were about 10 tables that seated two people each, and of course you can combine the tables for bigger parties. There was a stage up front that had character cutouts that you can pose with. The stage also had monitors playing the online manga in video form. And on the walls they had art from different Guilty Gear generations and there was even an autograph wall. And at the back of the bar they had a table to display the merch. Oh and for some reason there was like a dizzy picture guarding the bathrooms. Couldn't tell you why. Now that we got our table, it's time to order some food. They give you a physical menu, but to place your order, you had to use this website, which you gain access by scanning a QR code on the table with your phone. Kinda neat if you're introverted, very Japanese. Among the savory foods, they had dishes inspired by Sin, Milia, and Soul. And on the sweeter side of things, they had an Asuka dish and a Bedman dish. We didn't get Sin's dish, but it looked like a mix of almond rice with some sort of meat. Apparently it's for, quote, those who are greedy and want to try everything, end quote which I feel is pretty fitting for Sin since he likes to eat a whole lot. That's sort of his gimmick, at least in Exert. <laughs> they even have this special sugar water that Soul makes him. I ended up getting the Milia dish, which was spaghetti. I'm pretty sure spaghetti isn't an authentic Russian dish, but I thought it was a clever idea to have long strands of yellow pasta that represent Milia's hair. Hey, look, it even comes with the license plate from Exert. Does she have that in Strive? I don't, I forget. My friend who was with us got the soul spicy chicken. I'm gonna be real, I'm not sure if I see the connection here. Is the idea that Soul cooks the chicken with his gun flame or something? Maybe the lore is that it's his favorite food? Anyway, it seems that my friend enjoyed the chicken. Sukoi, umai. My wife decided to order the desserts. Asuka's donut and Bedman's assorted snack mix? The donut had icing shaped like a flower, I guess to represent Asuka's one eye? The Bedman dish included ice cream in the shape of Bedman's head, upside down beagles that represent Bedman's projectiles, and I'm not quite sure what these represent, but they were roll cakes? If you know what these represent, let me know in the comments below, I have no idea. I can't remember how much it all tasted, but if I'm being honest here, the taste wasn't the main attraction, if you know what I mean. I think it's common knowledge by now that collab food isn't always going to hit taste-wise. Usually you go to these themed bars or cafes to celebrate your favorite thing. And honestly, seeing food in the theme of your favorite thing is good enough for me. <laughs> that is so wordy, I hate that line who wrote this. That's me. Alright, so let's talk about the drinks. Alright, so for drinks they have the Dragon Install, Heavy Mob Cemetery, Rock the Baby, Millie Pico, The Gravity, and uh, Swallow Fang? We ended up getting the Dragon Install, Rock the Baby, and Swallow Fang. For those Guilty Gear players who aren't familiar with the Strive lore, you might be wondering why Dragon Install is blue instead of red. Well, spoiler alert, Kai for some reason can install the dragon. My wife's favorite character is Kai, so she got this drink. Is, is your favorite character Kai, honey? Alright. <laughs> Just need to double check. Like, I forgot. Soul's cool too. Alright. 
My friend got the Rock the Baby, which is a Bridget themed drink. In the game, Rock the Baby has a move where Bridget Spare Roger hops over and command grabs you. Not sure if I can see the connection here. Maybe it's just a play on words where the Rock and Rock the Baby is like the ice, and it's referring to Ice Ice Baby. Vanilla is white, the plant, uh, and I guess the wrapper. Is, so it's like a vanilla ice reference. I don't know. I'm stretching this probably a little bit too far. Anyway, it's a pretty looking drink. So I'm not much of a drinker myself, but I couldn't resist getting the whiskey on the rocks with that little chocolate coin. Why you ask? Well, it's obviously the Johnny drink and it's like the most badass thing on the menu. I should probably mention that I also played Johnny at the time. So I got the Johnny drink, which was named after his most iconic attack, the Swallow Fang. Oh, oh, it's in Sanga. Okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, I guess Johnny does break a bottle of whiskey when he does in Sanga. Anyway, just look at it. It's so cool. It's so cool that I forgot I'm actually horrible with alcohol. I swear, I'm not actually drunk after one whiskey. It's, it's the lighting. It's the lighting. Now, I didn't mention this before. A really cool thing that they do is that they give you a coaster for every item you order. Uh, you can choose the character that you want. So I have Ramathal here. We got, you know, Taya's favorite character, Milia. Of course, we have my, my wife's favorite character, as I found out, Kai. <laughs> If you wanted to collect all the characters, I guess this is a way for you to come back and order more. Interestingly, they ran out of soul coasters, which surprises me because I didn't think he was that popular of a character, but I guess he is the main character. By this point, we were racking up quite the food bill, so we were pretty much okay not getting any more drinks. The cost of drinks, as you can see, isn't very cheap. If you're looking to get smashed, this is not the place, obviously. But like the food, I feel you'd go to these collab bars more for the aesthetic, the experience, and the merch. So let's talk about the merch. They had a merch display in the back, and if there's anything you wanted, you had to fill out this checklist. In the end, we bought a couple of the stone plates, a folder, and an official wall squirrel, which is hanging up somewhere in this house. I'll put a picture up. All right, so what did we get from the Guilty Gear Cola bar? We got this cool file folder here. Nothing's in it. Really cool. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, open it up. Okay. Oh, here's what it looks like. We got two of these. Really cool. Look at that. Other than that, we did one last walkthrough of the venue, took some more pictures, paid our bill, and left quite happy. Did it end up being expensive? Yeah, it was expensive. But was it worth it? Hell yeah, let's go. But as someone who's been a fan for more than 20 years, I wouldn't and I couldn't pass this opportunity up. If another pop-up bar opens and I happen to be in town, yeah, for sure I'll check it out. Is it worth it for someone who isn't familiar with Guilty Gear? Probably not. I bet you can go down the street and find the same quality of fried chicken at a lower cost. I should mention that my friend who joined us wasn't as familiar with the Guilty Gear franchise, and he actually enjoyed the experience. He definitely enjoyed the fried chicken. Maybe you enjoyed the experience vicariously through me, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. This is not my usual style of content, but if you enjoyed it, please let me know with a like, comment, or subscribe. If you like technical character specific content, feel free to check out my other videos. I also stream on Twitch. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye, bye, bye.